I've been an oncologist now for 33 years in San Francisco, and every day in my practice I see patients troubled with symptoms of weight loss, cachexia, early satiety, anorexia, pain, insomnia, depression, nausea, vomiting. One medicine can actually deal with all of those symptoms. Cannabis is not, in fact, a panacea. It's a wonderful, wonderful drug that does a lot of different things and has tremendous possibilities and promise with more research and we'll find out more and more about it. And we have seen fantastic results with it. But in many, many more cases than not, especially of serious acute and chronic diseases, you have to have it in combination with standard of care and the not instead of. Somebody comes to me and says, oh, I'm just going to do cannabis. I'm not going to do the chemotherapy that my doctor said is going to save my life. I say, well, let's take a look at that and let's start looking at the numbers. We've talked about cannabis as a treatment and a lot of different approaches to it and the efficacy of it, and that's really important. The work that I've done as a pain management psychologist is focused more on what exactly are the pain generators, what's going on in not only chronic pain, but chronic medical conditions. We treat not only people with chronic pain, but Parkinson's, MS, all kinds of other medical conditions. So what I'm going to say today actually applies to all of it. The CBD is really overrated. It seems to have gotten its popularity because it's non-euphoric, not so much because of its therapeutic value. 